On today's video, my friends Bridget and Connor show up to work on my Corvette. This is the Old Guy Network. Yep. Hey, welcome back to the trailer hood. This is the old guy. You knew that already, didn't you? I got two people here. They're over there. You can't you can't see them. That's Bridget. That's skateboarder Jesus. I can't even tell. Am I in frame? Yeah. I don't know. Yep, like, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna run the camera. Skateboarder Jesus is gonna help me with this mess over here. And we'll explain what we're doing while we're doing it. Uh, they've actually been here for hours. He he had to build up the confidence to be able to look like he knew what he was doing. So <laughs> That's elite. That's my story. So we'll get started with that, and we, we've got a camera person here now too. So, all right. So Connor and his girlfriend uh, Bridget, whose name I remember. Yeah. I won't say why, but they are actually going. Uh, they've said that they would come over and do uh, do uh, uh, Dolores's job every once in a while. That'd be kind of fun. Do you ever think that you'd ever be on a channel called the Old Guy Network? I did not. See, someday you'll be old with any luck. That's true. And uh, when you're my age, you'll be the guy they call. When guys your age will call up and say, hey, do you know how to fix this damn thing? And you'll say, of course I do. Yeah. See? So he's an old guy in training. <laughs> All right. So what are we doing? You want to explain it? Sure, I can explain it. All right, speak so, up though. We, we, okay, okay. It's just tiny microphones. It's soft spoken, I know. You are. <laughs> So we are draining the radiator and flushing it. So to do that, the radiator cap, which is on the reservoir in this case, yeah, has we'll show to come that. off. That's down here. So that allows air into the system to let everything drain out so there's no pockets left over. So that step is already done. Next step, there's a little drain plug at the very bottom of this radiator. Gonna get that out, then the lower radiator hose will come out too and after both of those, the upper radiator hose. Once all that is done, and I'm getting ahead of myself here, I know, but <laughs> we will hook water up and just flush it back and forth. That's it? That's it. Yeah, simple job. This is not, this is nothing you really had to go to school for. True. Uh, but you, even though it's a simple job, you have a associate's degree in automotive technology, and you still watched a bunch of YouTube videos to make sure you didn't screw it up. Yep. See, that's dedication. <laughs> I like that. I, I agree with that wholeheartedly. All right, so now uh, you go ahead and do your thing. So now I'm just going to climb under the car pretty much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let <laughs> See you do can... whatever you want. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just that hanging out. Is way at the bottom. It's not that difficult to get to it, I don't think. No. And I don't know how tight it is, because the guy who worked on it last night, he, he's pretty strong. Yep, so it's just on the other side of this uh, wheel well. Okay. This is the damnedest rig. see in there well we could always jack this up a little bit I've got several jacks that might help and jack stands you can call jack. Might, right <laughs> oh what yep okay yeah no kidding Yeah, I got these damn things. These are coming off. <laughs> yeah. All right. Is that part of the frame right there, or is that plastic? No, that that's no good. No. That's too tall. Yeah. That point location right here on the pink welds. Yeah, where that freaking yeah. light is. <laughs> yeah. But I can put it right on here. Yeah. You be able to sure. This part is plastic. This on the other side of it is the frame, which so is where, there. which is where the light is. Right. Yeah. That should be good. Yeah. And we don't even have to take it right off the ground either. Do right. We? No. We have to lift the springs a little bit. Yeah. Put my hand out of there. Is that going to be far enough? I think. Should be. 
Alright. Now I can explain. Oh. Alright, our biggest problem is trying to jack this up. There is a place where you can put the jack. Unfortunately, this has those underglow lights on it. That I don't even think they even work anymore. <laughs> but yeah. I want to take them off because they they're so low I hit everything with them. So yeah. I've broken most of them. Um, I never put those things on there. The guy before me did. But anyway, we've got that jacked up, so do you think you can get into Should it now? Get, yeah, under it, under did you it. already do the top? And then the easy one. <laughs> yeah, that one's simple. Yeah. Okay, so what we did, instead of getting the hose at the bottom, which would have been optimal, that would have been what we wanted, uh, we just gave up and took it off up here and just bring the hose down because, you know, gravity works that way. Yeah, because this one's being the same way. Yeah, that's what I mean. These hoses are seized right on there. Yeah, you've got the clamp completely off, haven't you? Yep. Show you what we got. Connor was successful at taking that one off. And then we took this one off up here and then moved the hose down there. There's the hose right there. And it's not kinked now, so it should, uh, should drain properly. Yep. Are we ready for the hose? We are. There's the water hose. There it is. You go ahead and stick that where you need to stick it. I'm gonna do the lower one first. So if there's any dirt or buildup or anything at the bottom, Okay, that makes sense. You can push that right out. That makes sense. All right, so we'll do that. And you can... want me to go ahead and just turn the water on? Um, let me try and see if I can cinch this down right. on it. Uh, uh, well, make for a better video if you get soaked. Well, that's true. <laughs> oh, I'm halfway there with the cool one. Yeah, I know she had. You got that screwdriver? Of course I do. Oh, are you going to try to put it right on the hose? trying to. Oh, all right. Well, that makes sense. Then at least, I don't think it'll go that small, but at least help a little bit. But yeah. it should work. Oh, yeah. We're improvising right now. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, and that's part it's... of being a mechanic, too. Yep. Sometimes you have to do that. Oh, yeah. It's not going to go all the way tight on it, but. All right. I don't want to hurt the hose too much. Well, how about we just shove the hose in there as far as we can, and then you just stand up and. Yeah. <laughs> Hope for the best. Yeah. <laughs> I think it'll be all right here. Yeah, I'll make it straight. And then... I do agree it would be a little bit funny if you got totally so <laughs> Oh, <by> God, it. <laughs> yes. It would be a lot funny. All right. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the water. Here goes nothing. Or something, hopefully. All right. Let's see. It's going to pop it a little better. Hey. I saw it coming out brown, and now it's coming out clear. Well, now that's coming out brown. Yep. And that's what we thought. Yep. This is Connor playing in the water. Yeah. <laughs> it probably will run a lot cooler now. Probably. Yeah. American engineering. Yay! And the jackassery of an old guy. <laughs> yeah, that's come. That's starting to clear up. Okay. Now it looks more like really bad lemonade. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of holding that lower hose on this on the okay. hose. Yeah, it's, it's cleared even more. God, Keep now as much pressure as I can on it. <laughs> well, there's a spider here, and he. Pissing me off. <laughs> Go away. Yeah. yeah. See, that's what's happening down there. Sound, it? it was. <laughs> Grabbed it by the wrong part, apparently. You know what we should have done too? Before we drained the what? We should have started the car and turned the wheels. 
You could oh. have got in there a little easier. You might have been able to get in there a whole lot easier. Maybe. Oh, well, we got it. We're, We're not very smart. We're working with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'll trip you up there. <laughs> You're good. All right. This one should be a little easier. All right. Turn it on? Yep. Go for it. So, all I'm doing, I just got that garden hose in here. Just trying to hold pressure with my hand so it doesn't leak out too much on here. But it's gonna sum anyways. But it's getting clear. It's getting a lot clearer. Well, that's good. Yay! Success. <laughs> Success, yep. Oh, crap. <clears throat> yeah, that looks, it's starting to look good. Right back in there, which is fine. Yep. I think, right? Should be. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice. There's well, that lack of confidence yeah, again. Yeah. Just say, yeah, everything will be great. It's a reoccurring problem. All right, oh, so yeah. are we ready to uh, start adding coolant? Yes. Do you want? Um, should we start the car first? Not first. Okay. But once we start filling it, yes. So um, the only thing, uh, so since the capacity is three and a half, yep. and since that is full, we'll probably start with two and a half, three. Okay. Um, I think that's I, a one gallon reservoir. Okay. If I'm, well, that's, I, it, that's I about it. I, I think that's a one gallon, maybe a gallon and a half, but yeah, that's, that's why I was saying should, should we just start the car because it will it'll suck that up, won't it? <laughs> well, no, I'm, I'm uh, yeah. no, you listen. I I know you don't want to do any damage to the car, yeah, and I know that's no, what I, you're thinking. I don't want you to do any damage yeah. to the car either. Yeah, that is the goal. So, if anything happens, you're you're. You're not liable for anything, Connor. Well, that's good to know. That's on recording? <laughs> yep, that is recorded. Yeah, no. No, you're helping me out. Video evidence. Yeah. <laughs> um, Which I can delete. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I'm used to coolant being green. That almost looks There's, like what came out of it. Uh, this is a bit brighter and a little it's, more clear than what came cool. out of it. But Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> But yeah, yeah there's you, different colors of coolant. Green is a very common one, but I I actually I've worked on cars with blue coolant, believe it or not. Those are Why in the hell odd. would they make it different colors? Not like you can see the coolant once it's in the car. <laughs> no, it's mostly for it's technicians. <laughs> yeah, there's blue raspberry I bet we could talk and green apple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blue raspberry, green apple, and I don't know, coffee. Coffee, yeah. Or just orange, you know, that's a Are flavor Are you going to try to put the whole gallon in before we start it, or should we start it now? Um, it'll bubble a little bit down, but we can start it and then okay. we go. I'll give that back to so you. As it starts, it'll draw it through, so. Tell me if something interesting uh, happens. Where is, oh, see it, all right. We got for this one. <laughs> just in case I need it. That's the wrong game. <laughs> Doesn't work as well when you try to put the wrong one in. Alright, run it just like that. <laughs> Don't put the sword on it. Don't think. Get lots of air. Get lots of air. Alright, so what we've done here, you couldn't see a whole lot, but you saw most of it, and we'll explain what we can. Uh, what we can. I'm just kind of wondering why we didn't use enough coolant. I'm not sure. I'm thinking that it's going to go down, and I'm going to have to add more coolant later. 
Could be. Does that sound right? Probably. Well, it also didn't spit a whole lot out. No, so That's you're thinking I'm... so you're thinking there's there's a lot of fluid that was left in it. Maybe. In the engine. That's... Kind of, that's kind of what I'm thinking. It, it could oh, been, okay. It could be in like there's channels in the engine that cool the engine block. There so be... if we were to take and open everything up again, and then take my compressor and and run an air hose in there, a sealed air hose, and hit that, there's, we'd probably get a whole bunch more water. Come I think out. so. All right, that makes sense. Now I, I can I can live with that. Okay. Uh, Next, we we just flushed the radiator. Yes. And. So that, and that's, that's a, not any of the other systems in there, but I, I don't know. Okay. That's what it seems like. But. All right, that makes sense. I feel better about it now. I'm still gonna drive it. No, no, yeah. Either way, I don't care. Yeah, yeah just well, keep a bottle in the passenger seat or something. <laughs> well, thank both of you for being here. You're delightful. Thanks. Thank you for having us. It's a great learning experience. <laughs> really? I yeah. thought you knew all this up to begin with. Well, not on a Corvette. What we need to do is find you a job that pays a lot more so you can buy the Corvette. It's true. Yeah. yeah. It's true. See, she likes that. Yeah. I agree. You like the car, don't you? I do. <laughs> <laughs> no driver's license. <laughs> but you're going to get it by the end it. of the summer. Yeah, yeah. that's the, the plan. All right. Well, we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to head back into the studio, and uh, we'll finish that there. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And thanks for being in the trailer hood. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I got to say that was one of the funnest uh, videos I've done so far. Um, is funnest even a word? I don't know. But uh, these guys are great. Um, I, I didn't know he was going to bring his girlfriend along, but uh, he did. And she is delightful. And uh, she has agreed that uh, on the next uh, podcast that I, well, is it a podcast? I don't call it a podcast. Just, just a live stream that I'm doing. Uh, on the next one, if Dolores is not available... She's going to come do it uh, because Skaterboard Jesus, he is, or Skateboarder Jesus, there we go, uh, he is going to uh, be going to a drag race in New Hampshire uh, on the next Friday that we're doing this. So I get to have her here, and she is delightful. She's very, very, uh, very sweet. Uh, she's going to school now. She's a uh, substitute teacher, but she's still in college, and uh, she's... If she wants to teach music, I guess. We'll, we'll talk to her about that when she's here. But uh, she's very talented, very nice. And uh, Connor, or Skateboarder Jesus, as I like to call him, nice kid. Um, he's 20 years old. I guess he's not really a kid. But to me, he's a kid. Uh, nice guy. We're, uh, we're going to do some more videos together. There are a lot of things that I want to take care of on the vet. A lot of little things. Um, C4 Corps vets have a lot. Did you see that? My lens just popped out of my glasses. <laughs> well, I didn't plan that. But anyway, C4 Corvettes have things like that happen every once in a while. So uh, we're going to address as many of those as I can. And uh, Connor has agreed to come back. And the next thing we're going to do, I think we're going to tackle the headlights. Because the motors on the headlights... Uh, have a uh, problem with them so that the headlights don't always pop up all the way like they're supposed to. Uh, that's the problem with hideaway headlights. you got to remember, the car is, you know, it's a 1993, so it's very old and uh, things wear out. But I have a kit to fix those, and now I'm going to have Connor here, and he's going to help me with that as well. I don't know when, but we'll try to figure that out later. This was a great video. Uh, the thing is, we uh, we filmed for almost an hour to get like a nine minute video because we just kept on talking, joking, laughing. And uh, a lot of it, you know, this is not really an instructional video, but uh, I wanted to try to keep it as uh, close to an instructional video as I could. So I had to edit a lot out. I will add I will go back and re-edit this and we can do another video just on these two because they are they're they're nice people. So thanks again, Connor. And thank you again, Bridget. Wonderful. Uh, great job. And uh, that's going to do it for this video. So, for the Old Guy Network, I am the old guy. And I'm out.